It's the word no one likes to mention, hurricane. But today, Colorado State University forecasters are now calling for a more active season than was predicted earlier this year. The CSU forecast, which is released annually and then updated, is considered one of the top indicators of the Atlantic hurricane season. They are now anticipating an above average year. Their forecast back in April called for a slightly below average hurricane season. Colorado State's forecasters are now predicting 18 named storms, nine hurricanes, and four major hurricanes. However, they said that uncertainty with this outlook is larger than normal. So I'm curious, yeah. as Steve joins me here, what does that mean? Yeah, Their uncertainty is larger a, than normal. Quite a jump in the numbers. It is. Yeah, let's take yeah. a let's talk about that first, the, the uncertainty. Yeah. You have two competing factors here. You have very warm water, ocean water in the Atlantic Ocean, right. especially where hurricanes and tropical storms form. That aids obviously in hurricane development. Mm -hmm. You also have an El Nino, which is really wow. strengthened in the last uh, four to six weeks. In fact, it started earlier than we expected the El Nino to form in the late summer. It's now here and that suppresses hurricane and tropical storm sure. activity. So you have these two Competed. factors and the, the seasonal forecasters are trying to decide what plays hmm. more of a part in this year's season. And, and uh, as far as uh, uh, Phil Klotzbach, who does the Colorado State forecast, Shannon, he expects that the warm water winds out and this right. will be an above average season. Also very important to realize that we've already had, well, you had the three named storms. We had the ABC storms. We had Cindy and Brett in the last few weeks. We also had an unnamed tropical storm that formed in January. So we're already down another four and those are included in this 18. So that brings it down to 14. Typically in June and July, we'll see a, a named storm perhaps once every couple of years, um, especially through July. Usually we'll have one, maybe two storms uh, form by the end of July. Uh, so it, it is expected obviously to be an active season, but we've already seen uh, a few of those storms already knocked off the list, which is good. Tropic